bureaucratic and archaic are some of the words used by those in the justice, law and order sector to describe the regulations binding practitioners of the law in Uganda today. Legal academicians have expressed their concerns over the current state of the sector and they are worried about the environment into which new practitioners are entering. I shouldn't even be talking to you now because regulation 16 bars me from talking, talking to you. But then how are we going to have this debate if I don't talk to you? Yeah, so th that's the dilemma. So should we, should we teach the professional code and ethics as they are now, or should we teach them as they should be? Whether from members of the public... Ethics are by their very nature supposed to be used as a shield for the community, for the people, not as a sword to which and or shoot human rights defenders in the leg or those practicing the law as advocates. If the advocates are ethical and the judiciary on the other side is playing its own game, then we cannot achieve the objective of ethics. Or even in their capacity as judges, a common expressed view is the need to review the regulations. But who prescribes this professional ethics? Who is the author of the ethics that we follow? Probably it's time for us to rethink the professional ethics given the context in which we are operating. The existing framework has been blamed for being slow at dispensing justice. However, some have defended the existing regulations. If society is not disciplined, your cause will not advance. Because at one point you are a minority. And now if you allow, if the system does not in, uh, um, set inherent parameters of respect, then you, your minority views will not be respected and they will not advance because you will be mobbed. It appears it's just the beginning of the debate. Jackson Onyango, NTV.